Harry, thanks for joining us. One all draw at Rotherham last night. You can see in that game why they've gone so many games unbeaten under Neil Warnock. Difficult team to play against. Yeah, they were. Um, you know, obviously they're very direct. Um, you know, we were expecting that. Um, you know, they, they like to get the, the ball forward quickly. Um, and I think it's been working for them. Um, obviously, now I think we're we're totally different to that. And in terms of you know, we want to keep the ball and and, and have good possession. Um, but it was, a, it was an interesting game, um, but I, I think um, I think a point's a, a, a good result uh, away from home. The head coach talked after the game about the, the team's development under him over time, and I think in that first 20 minutes when we were a little bit under pressure, we showed part of that development by sticking in the game and, and keeping the game in, in reach for Naki's equaliser. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, there's, there's been some, some big clubs uh, that have gone there and and, and found it found it difficult, you know. I think the first 20 minutes were difficult, but we, uh, you know, we stuck together and, and obviously kept kept um, kept the ball well and, and, and got ourselves back in the game. That's the thing. Bravery in football is often relating to tackles and, and last ditch headers, but in the face of that pressure, it's brave to get on the ball and play the kind of game that we want to play. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, especially against a, a physical side like Rotherham, um, you know, they were they were very physical and. You know, we've got a few, um, you know, experienced lads who, who know the league well, and, and obviously, um, you know, not how to win games. Um, so I thought we, we did well, and, and uh, you know, hopefully we can go into Saturday's game and, and get three points there. The results last night, including ours, does guarantee the club Championship football next season. Now, uh, as much of a as a nice little milestone that might be, there's never really been the feeling around the squad that that we're in danger of losing our championship position. There's been a confidence throughout, hasn't there? Yeah, definitely. You know, um, I think we we knew we were we were always good enough to stay in the league. Um, if anything, you know, we want to look above the, above us um, and not below us. Um, and you know, we've still got nine points to play for. Um, so we, we're going to go we're going to go into the next three games wanting to win and, and get as high up the league as we can. Say so that you, you speak to David, you speak to guys like you. There's certainly no danger of us switching off for these final three games. We, we want to finish this season well. It would seem fitting if we did, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. You know, that's that's what we have paid to do. We have paid to, to to do do our best, and and I think that the next three games are all winnable games. Um, you know, that's no disrespect to the three teams that we're playing, but I, I do believe that we can we can take three points off all of them. As much as that's important, there is kind of a prevalent feeling around the fans that they're, they're now looking to next season, and people are excited about what could be achieved here. Does that relate to you guys? And, and you've obviously seen the change under David and, and everything that's come from there. It does leave you wanting a little bit more next season, doesn't it? Yeah, it's you know it's it's obviously hard not to to get excited about next season. Um, but you know, as I said, we've, we've still got a job to do this season, and, and that's what we'll be concentrating on for now. Um, you know, we can we can think about next season through the summer, and and uh, you know when, when we come back in pre-season. But for now, I think we're just concentrating on the next three.